like you mine Holler at me, I just want your love Nobody else can do this love on me Those of you guys are wondering what the hell is wrong with me I'm an emotional guy, so welcome back to the channel guys Welcome back to another video Today guys, it's not the big ass insane um, thingy McBarber that I told you guys about I told you guys some big news is coming soon This is not it, this is actually something that just, just came out of the blue So my boy Devon was like, yo well, I got another accident. I'll stop a picture right here. So Devon gets re-rendered again. I don't know if you guys know the big news. I'll show you guys right now. I'm gonna pull up to his house. He gets re-rendered again. His Genesis, he got re-rendered, he got cashed out. And then he got re-rendered again in the 335. And these are like, he's driving, dude, you guys, his driving is like a grainy. This dude, like, he's obeying all the laws. I can't even race him if I try. This dude doesn't even deserve a 335. Anyways, um, yeah, so he needs a daily for now. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and get today for him. All right, guys, so we're at his place right now. I don't know if you guys remember his genesis about a week or like probably a month ago he got rear-ended and the only thing that wasn't repaired from the shop was this diffuser they ended up putting it back together and fitting it on so it looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie but um yeah this whole trunk was shifted downwards this whole thing was pushed in the shop ended up fixing all that good stuff for him and then after that gets fixed he got hit again <laughs> what's up bro how you doing dude Exhaust, what? I was listening for an exhaust. <laughs> I'm driving the daily, bro. <laughs> It'll be like that, dude. See, so, yeah, guys, thankfully, Devon is good and everything, but we're gonna go check out what happened to his 335. We literally just finished putting this together. He put a full body kit, got it painted and everything, and then some person had the nerve to, he was on his phone 100%, dude. He had, to be. he had to be on his phone. Like, we were in school, like, we were literally on school property. Everyone should not be traveling that quickly. We had a complete stop or what? You know where that crosswalk is in the back by the baseball? The garage? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. I was just like four cars in front of me. Oh my god. How the heck was he going that fast? He was going hella fast. He was going at least like 30, right? 30, 30. Dang. Yeah, you guys can see quarter panel is buckled. Oh, this Bondo too is all cracking yeah. up. It was an independent um, appraiser. So hopefully he's not too biased and gives a good price on this because they'll let me know on Monday. Totaled if they're going to fix it and all of that, they're gonna uh, reimburse me for a rental. But yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be, it, I don't think it's gonna be total. It's totaled, bro. You guys, look at look at this. Like, that's a, look at, dude, it's totaled, I'm sorry. He was like, he was like, where's your muffler at? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, it, we had to cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> Either I'm buying it back or you're buying it back. You, regardless, we're, someone, we're getting this car back. Someone's gonna have this car <laughs> because the buyback, it's gonna be like what? 2,000 like, maybe? 1,000, 2,000 at most. Yeah. Which is, Less than the paint cost, obviously. Anyways, that's that. Now we need the daily. All right, guys, before we actually head out to get something to eat and then uh, get the other car, let's put some air on this thing. This thing is just, ah, oh, man, let's put some air. Checking out the car, I ended up looking like a piece of garbage. This thing has so many problems everywhere, and she was not negotiating. So, uh, yeah, we just ended up dipping out, and uh, we're just gonna get him a rental. All right, guys, now we're at a car rental place because Devon needs another car. It's just that's life. People keep hitting him. Bro, this shit's fire. Look at this, it looks like a manual. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. Look at the stitching. Can't get that in the BMW world. So today, guys, we're gonna be going into the paint booth and working on my brother's car. I wanna go ahead and ask to own the whole thing, mask the whole thing, and start primering the car. So without further ado, I think we should get into that. But before we do, I just want to give a huge special shout out to the spoiler giveaway. So those of you guys who purchased the crate, I'm so sorry for not announcing the giveaway winner. I've been so, so like just busy with school. It's absolutely ridiculous. I just cannot wait till I graduate. It's still another year or something like that still till I graduate. But I'm working my best. I'm trying to take as much units as I can so I can get out of there and continue doing this full time for you guys. So please bear with me here and then when I miss an upload date or whatever. I'm at least going to try to upload every two, like twice a week. But if I miss a day, 
please bear with me. Anyway, so the winner of the give, of the spoiler giveaway is Brian something. His name's gonna be right here. I took a screenshot when I actually put the raffle. So congratulations to you, my guy. Um, I don't know if you have an E90, E92, whatever you have. Reach out to me on Instagram. Tell me what car you have. I'll go ahead and place an order on a spoiler directly to your house. So it should get to you in like two or three days after this video goes up. So just let me know. I got you. Thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel. Thank all you guys for supporting the channel recently. And hopefully I can get back to you guys and make up to you guys the amount of content that I missed. So let's go ahead, get in the paint booth and uh, get some work done. Guys, lesson to be learned when you're clean, when you're you know dry sanding primer, um, don't let it sit there overnight. I let it sit there for a week, and I have to scrub all this pretty much gunk from the sanding primer. I don't even know how to explain what this is, but it's such a pain to scrub off. I scrubbed it off this entire quarter panel, so now to the touch, it's smooth. Thank goodness. But this whole side took me forever. Yeah, it feels good. So happy with that. Oh my lord, that took forever. So now it's just right here. Um, because all these like stains you see you can actually feel it to the hand you need to, I need to scrub all this off That took me forever. Yes here. I can barely breathe because this is taking forever This took me at least like 30 45 minutes already So I have to do this before he's doing another 30 minutes, but I'm gonna get it done. All right, it's time to finish that up Alrighty guys, so this whole quarter panel has been completely acetone. You guys can see, once you go over it a lot, it actually took off all the primer, but since we're putting on primer anyways, that's a no big deal. My hands, oh my God. Oh my Lord, I should probably wear better gloves next time, but hopefully I don't die. Anyways, the whole car other than the hood is acetone. I'm actually gonna cover up the entire hood. I'm actually gonna cover up all the windows. I'm gonna show you guys how you can keep this thing down and then um, you'll be able to paint the whole inner seal as well. Cause I want it to where when it's at this position, you guys can still see the gray. I don't want it to like, when you put down the window, you see black, that'd be kind of weird. But I'm gonna go ahead and cover up these seals in between the doors as well. Cause I don't want that getting all messed up. And then we'll go ahead and yeah, cover up all the windows and that's pretty much it. Maybe even cover up the wheels and uh, the rear bumper area, put in some wrap in there, put in some wrap in here and uh, just pretty much get every, oh, I still gotta, still gotta do the rear trunk. I'll probably end up acetoning the whole car again once I actually get everything uh, wrapped up, mainly because I just wanna make sure everything's off the car and the car is completely cleaned off. I hope you guys are stoked as I am. I cannot wait to see this whole car painted. I don't know if you guys see the hood right there, but that looks absolutely insane. I do think I still need to get it repolished. I'm not too happy in how the polish came out. Um, I Apparently I have a single, uh, single, I don't know, it's like a dual and there's a single polisher. I don't, single something polisher and then there's a dual something polisher. I have a single, so um, it didn't do what I wanted. It didn't come out that exact uh, finish that I wanted. So I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna sand that again and repolish it. Uh, but we're gonna do that when the entire car needs to be sanded and polished anyways. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start masking it. For those of you guys who are wondering what I'm gonna be using, I'm just gonna using some plastic cloth, some tape, and some window, uh, some window covers. This is basically, I'm just gonna tape this up, tape those up, and uh, I got the tape. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong. But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump Oh, what a fool It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm going to use this instead of uh, the actual wrap. Alright guys, so this is how the car is sitting right now. So pretty much everything is masked off from like the door handles to the windows, to the roof, to the antenna, windows, wheels, 
Um, so everything is masked off that I really want other than like little things like this because I don't really care. I'd rather have the paint get in the grooves than uh, miss it. Um, this hood is getting completely replaced. You guys already know with that beautiful LCI hood out there. So who cares about this hood? Still gotta uh, go ahead and acetone this trunk. I actually forgot that there was some lettering here. So I got that sanded down. I'm gonna go ahead and acetone the whole trunk again. Acetone the whole car one more time. Uh, just a quick little, you know, over. Just a quick little white. Uh, but yeah, we got pretty much everything covered up until also the front end as well here. So yeah, we are ready to paint the pretty much the whole car. I'm super stoked on this. Um, I haven't actually done any of the mixtures myself. Devon has been the person that does the mixture. The mixtures of the primer, the paint, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if my paint gun will reach as far as the back of the car. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some research to see what is a paint mix, the, the primer mixture. Uh, you know, how much uh, hardener, how much primer, and then see if I can do it. All right guys, whole car is acetone. Now we are ready for some primer. Let's finally get that on so this whole thing can be looking one color. Cause this thing is one fugly looking car, I'm telling you. You know what, I decided I'm actually gonna go head out, get something to eat, and I'm gonna wait for Devon for the primer. I don't wanna mess this up. This is a huge chunk of the car, and uh, I'll just wait for him to get here. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind. Though it doesn't really matter when my hands are tied. I'm trying to walk across the bridges that I burned. What's going on, bro? Uh, can I get a double double animal style? And uh, a cheeseburger animal style? And a fry. Anything to drink today? Uh, just a water. And then we'll drink it for the car today or take it? Uh, to go. It'll be uh, 9 40 at that portion. Appreciate it. I used to eat like this all the time, and now that I rarely eat like this, it's like when I ask for it, I feel so bad, but it's just once out of the week, come on. All right guys, so pretty much we already uh, put in all the hardener. We're just mixing up the primer with it. We pretty much put it all together um, because apparently it lasts a long time, right? It lasted, it lasted enough time. Because <laughs> we still have to do the bumpers and stuff. That's gonna be another day, but hopefully we'll be fine. Anyways, this is gonna be good enough for the whole car. And then if, if we have extra, we'll save it. We'll see if you can use it for the bumpers and the side skirts. But anyways, um, we're almost done. We just have to put in the gun and then we're good to go. Right, guys the car is completely primered check that out that looks so good um, obviously there's a few little errors there but that can all get sanded down none of this is a big deal um, all of it got painted though with a single tank so basically I did this in three tries painted this whole side painted the roof and the trunk and then painted that entire side did it three tries because our tank is not that big I think it's like a 30 gallon or something like that so it's possible to do with a smaller tank but just know you have to take if they take a few breaks um, it's easier to do with primer than paint, so uh, when it comes to paint, I'm gonna call Jose, my friend, and see if he can help me out with that, because they do this stuff for a living. Uh, for me, I mean primer, you just sand it if you mess up. I think paint, you can do the same, but I don't think you can sand as much, so we'll have to do some research on that. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean out the, the paint gun, get everything cleaned up, uh, and pretty much, um, yeah, pretty much now, I just gotta let it dry. I gotta wait a few days. Um, so instead of actually making you guys wait the entire week like I did on the hood, because this is the actual car, you guys are wondering the progress on the build, I'm gonna actually end the video right here. So yeah, it's a short video, but um, this is basically getting the whole car prepped up, primered, and ready for paint. So in the next video, guys, it should be paint, polished, and hopefully pretty much done. Paint, clear, and polished. It should be the whole car done. I'll be able to throw on the hood. The whole car should be complete other than the rear bumper, the front bumper, and the side skirt. We'll do all that in the near future. Um, I have a surprise for you guys. So I, I will show you guys the reason why I haven't done the, the bumpers or the side skirts. It's a super cool surprise, so just stay tuned. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Um, you guys have been absolutely killing it. Smash that like button, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.